So it's been a while since my last update and I've mainly been playing around with this uh, Turnigy 9X uh, transmitter and a uh, eight channel Turnigy receiver. So I come from a Spectrum background, uh, specifically the DX5E, which um, what I wanna do today is demonstrate how to set up your control mode switch. And I don't have a Nozawa GPS, so it's just going to be a dual switch between uh, attitude mode and manual mode. I originally tried to set that up on my Spectrum and uh, you, you can't set your endpoints for your switch, so that makes it difficult in the NASA Assistant. Well, not difficult, impossible um, from what I've found. So I'll, I'll kind of talk you through uh, the setup so that you can switch between attitude and manual mode and uh, show you in the Assistant. Okay, so the, the first thing you want to do is get your channels hooked up. You know, one, two, three, four, your standard control input inputs. Channel five, uh, you're going to wire to the, the port labeled U on your NASA controller. Okay, so with the receiver wired up, we'll go into the uh, Turnigy settings. I actually have, as you'll see here, a NASA uh, model that I've configured. And so what we want to do is we want to tell... Uh, the transmitter that this gear switch is going to be associated with uh, channel 5 on the receiver. So what we'll do in, in navigating this uh, Turnigy menu is kind of a pain but you get used to it so you hold for one second and hit menu then we'll go over to settings um, channel down to auxiliary Okay, and, and by default, this will actually be set to null, so we'll just kind of page through to gear, and then we want to set it, so we'll hit menu, it's set, and what that does now is uh, channel 5 is associated to this gear switch, as I showed earlier, this guy, and what we'll do now is we'll go into the NASA Assistant and uh, configure the uh, control mode settings. Okay, so we have the NASA assistant fired up, the NASA uh, controller is hooked up, and um, you'll notice you won't be able to see it. I'll switch to the uh, transmitter view in a minute, but you can hear me toggle the gear switch, and if you notice that uh, the endpoints of the switch are you know, outside the range of any of these uh, modes. So what we'll need to do on the Turner G9X, and this took me quite a while to figure out, is uh, set the endpoints for that gear switch. Um, so we'll have uh, attitude mode and manual mode uh, that are toggled by the switch. And during flight, um, you, can, you can toggle between the two. And I'd, I've seen some users, I'll probably post a follow-up when I figure out how to do it that have a three mode switch with one of them being fail safe um, just to test and it, obviously if you have the GPS unit uh, you can put it in GPS mode. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at setting up the uh, Turnigy uh, to set the endpoints for the gear switch. Okay so we're going to set our endpoints for the uh, gear switch and you'll notice um, in the NASA assistant the uh, little pointer move over to the to the right area. So we'll start by going into the menu, settings, and then if you scroll down you'll see an endpoint selection. Now keep in mind that uh, you know I've, I've learned that the turn of G9X won't even turn on if the switches are not in their default position. So for the gear switch up here forward um, is the default position and, and I'm going to make forward uh, the attitude mode, which is kind of the default stable mode uh, when you're flying. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and scroll down to gear and we'll see that it's at 100%. So what we want to do is actually decrease that and you'll notice that the slider is moving over from fail safe to, to attitude. So here we are at about, looks like zero and uh, we are you know, spot on in attitude mode. So that, that's one endpoint. Now let's go ahead and set the manual uh, endpoint and you'll notice we've switched over to this column. So let me try decreasing 
go back up a little bit. And in the NASA Assistant, the uh, appropriate area will turn blue. So roughly, you know, anywhere from 75 to 80% uh, on the endpoint for manual mode. And if I flip switch back, so we have attitude and manual. So our endpoints are now configured. Okay, I'm going to try to demonstrate the uh, attitude versus manual mode the best that I can. What I'll do is I'll kind of move the sticks around and you can kind of see, you know, in attitude mode it's very, uh, I'll say, I don't want to say not unresponsive, but it's, it's just everything is kind of diluted. You know, when you try to give it uh, pitch, roll, all that, um, your endpoints just aren't as great and uh, things are, are more controlled and obviously it has the uh, auto leveling. Another thing is I don't normally recommend flying, you know, indoors or underneath a roof because sometimes changing between your modes can, you know, your throttle will uh, increase a, a fair amount. So you just got to be aware of that situation. So here we go. So you can see we're in attitude mode, real, real stable. I mean, I'm going left and right as hard as I can with, with my roll. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and switch to manual mode. Now you can notice, I mean, it's real. It's hard for me even to talk and fly it, but you can tell there's a significant difference in just responsiveness and handling overall. So we're going to go back to, to uh, attitude mode. I mean, I could, you know, practically do anything in this mode. Let's take it back to, okay, we'll do one more manual mode. You can just tell by how I'm flying it. It's takes a lot more skill at the stick. Go ahead and land it. So there you have it. That's uh, essentially what needs to be done to set up your control modes with your Turnigy 9X um, and Turnigy receiver. So if, like I said before, I tried with the Spectrum DX5E, which does have that gear channel, but uh, unless you can set the endpoints, you really can't get uh, your control mode settings to uh, their proper location. So, anyway, post in the comments if you know otherwise, and uh, thank you for watching.